five miles in the Cheviots, heading off at 5.30 in the morning over some of the most rugged terrain in England. It's called the Montan Cheviot Goat. And we're going to get told off by Salad for having a messy van. Well, how much of a van can you see? Good about running 55 miles. Um, I just think it's it's good to push yourself out of your comfort zone. They'll set bars for themselves, and once they hit their bars, they then need to push themselves more. I think it's it's known as the law of diminishing returns. You set a bar for yourself, you hit it, and then suddenly you don't get the same exhilaration once you've hit that that thing you've already achieved. So you need to push yourself beyond that. Some people know me as Arctic John, 44 years old, fell runner. I got into fell running because I was training for a triathlon, long distance triathlon, uh, and then an Ironman. And as I was training for my Ironman, I did the Lake District tries, and I did Helvellyn try and got to the summit of Helvellyn on a nice day. And the whole of the Lake District sort of opened up in front of me, and I thought, yeah, running in mountains, that's what I want to do. Uh, the thing that's kept me fell running is that. I love exploring new places, I love the mountains, I love getting to the top of a mountain, but I, I just love being outdoors in the mountains, it's, it's an amazing experience, it, it, never, it never ceases to amaze. Up to Deadwater was quite emotional, um, my father passed away um, less than a month before the start, very suddenly, um, he had a heart attack, I got a call from my mum at half five in the morning and by eight o'clock he was gone. And so in the lead up to that race, I'd trained all year for it, but I couldn't go out for a run without sort of breaking down, bursting into tears. Longer I got out in the mountains and when I went out, and when I'd still go out, I find sort of that place where it's too hard to carry on. It's, it's, it feels impossible. But do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can win a stage. Let's see if I can win a stage and dedicate it to my dad. I did finish first on that stage. I got a text off my mum just after I'd finished saying your dad would have been proud. And I've been thinking about running And I'll get out on the town just for myself My next big race is the Montaigne Chivia Winter Goat Ultra Run. I'm quite looking forward to the fact it could be difficult conditions because I don't mind difficult conditions. Well, start in the dark at half five, like and finish in the dark as well. It's not dissimilar to the Felsman in terms of distance, it's a bit shorter, it's not got quite as much elevation, but it's in winter. So, if I finished anything around 14 hours or so, I'd be pleased. Could go a bit faster, maybe, might be a bit slower. But for me, that's a, it's a long winter day out as a challenge. It's a real tough challenge. I think they're going to be feeling actually really lonely. This is a brutal 55 mile run um, going through um, possibly one of the remotest parts of England. Um, it's going to be taking in 9,500 feet of elevation. It's going on over some very, very tough ground. Pretty much self-supported. Um, there is an aid station halfway where people get food. Um, it's self-navigated so people are expected to be pretty self-sufficient in the hills on their own in cold conditions. and 50 which is very similar same sort of distance same terrain just not winter been out here i've done some recce runs just for fun so I don't know. it's a bit different to that but yeah it's up and down so <laughs> just going into it seeing what happens i've only i've recorded quite a long bit of it but it's the pennine way bit so the other bits are trickier hard underfoot i've been talking to a few people this morning who said it's it's really tricky terrain, so that'll be interesting. It looks beautiful though. It's going to be a nice day. If you can see, it's going to be a nice day. I 
I thought between 12 and 14 hours, but I was talking to Carol on Thursday night and she reckoned it might be nice to try and get in before you need to use your head torch a second time. So. Hey, hey! <laughs> I'm just coming out to get you, and you've just kicked me to it. <laughs> 